Hello and welcome back to Be Happy. Um, ah, I'm thinking what to do at the moment. Probably going to put some more dirt around the outside here. But I'm wondering if I should do it in a certain agricraft specific way. You could do a zigzag pattern. I could just build the dirt out and then put in the zigzag afterwards. It's probably what I'll end up doing. Uh, it probably makes a lot more sense. Um, but yeah, we're getting, getting some decent progress, so I'll uh, go over that now. Uh, you can see that quite a lot has been done. third of the second and third chapters, actually. Uh, it was the wheat. I wanted 128 wheat. So this episode... Oh yeah, we just got the uh, noble and majestic bees as well. Nice. Uh, okay, so we've got bees here. Uh, no majestic and no we can go up here. Um, hmm, got some meadows. I suppose we can just leave them in there. Um, so yeah, probably going to want more. Well, we've got we've got a decent amount of stuff with all different kinds of bees, and I've been uh, I'm doing all right on the uh, commons. I want to get loads of commons. Um, when I was doing, when I was mess, when I was messing around with this, I've always wanted to get loads of comments. This issue, I mean, how many copper nuggets do I actually need? There's the thing. Because probably not that many actually. I feel like it's not that many. And 32 raw jelly for this quest. And now you have the opportunity to both make both imperial and industrious. Uh, Yeah, but these only give me stringy combs, so. Yeah, I might not have Imperial. I don't think I've actually got Imperial yet. That's Noble Majestic. Okay, but. Is there a reason for this? So I can make Resilient, make Glittering. Oh, yeah, this is down the line of Reforged, is it? Yeah, interesting. Where's the raw jelly come from then? From Imperial. Okay. So I just need a noble majestic and then we can get raw jelly. Okay, so that will be the next port of call. Um, but yeah, everything's going pretty well. And on the B front, I would say. Um, and I've squared off this area, so I will want to make... Basically what I'm thinking is that I make sort of like about three layers of dirt all around the outside of this. Um, one thing I am wondering as well is... Hmm... Yeah, I suppose if I... All dictionary names are dirt, and if I change it to another type of dirt, that will still be the same thing, right? Uh, it doesn't actually tell me. If I try to. Well, it might not work here anyway. Let's see, I don't think that actually is dirt. Yeah, it's not dirt anymore. It just looks like dirt. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, I probably will use some of this stuff there. Uh, it's a nice texture. Large dirt bricks on top of dirt. Uh, honestly, this dirt layers block I quite like. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to have that one. I've actually got two more apiaries here. But yeah, one of the problems is, is that I don't want to put down any more apiaries at this point uh, in the same location. Um, because I will start getting. I will start getting uh, performance issues if I do that, and obviously don't want that. Um, but yeah, so we do need to get the royal jelly. So we need the imperial, and the imperial, like I said, is noble and majestic. So we've only got. Um, we'll put a majestic and a noble together, and we'll start getting that on on the go, I guess. Or the royal jelly. Alright, so I am going to um, 
Oh, actually, I've got a free hive here. That's useful. And uh, we've got production upgrades. Uh, what's taking up the speed upgrades at the moment? Let's have a look. Not this. So I've put them both in here. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Um, but I should have another one. I've got another set of four somewhere. Where, where is the other ones gone? I just lost them somehow. Or did I just not... Really? I need to make a Britannia area as well. There's quite a lot I need to do at this stage. Yeah, I think I've actually lost the uh, lifespan upgrades. Which is really annoying. Oh no, I put them in here, didn't I? Um, with the Industrious. Alright, so we're getting a lot of... Uh, so the Industrious are getting us the uh, Pollen Clusters. And... Got some more of the dripping cone. And that's going to get then gets honeydew as well. So that can be used in. Uh, I can actually use glistering melon. Ambrosia. Oh, we get mead from the fermenter. What do you use mead for then? Nothing really. I'm not really sure exactly what you're supposed to do with this. A lot of it is fuel though. Um, but yeah, we've got all these fertility samples. Uh, alright, so we need 32 royal jelly. Um, alright, so like I say, we're going to have the copper uh, is going to get us uh, the copper nuggets we need here. Could put fertility. Um, and this is going to get us a stringy comb from the industrious, which gives us propolis, which we can make peat from, or slime balls. Or we can do stuff with the uh, thermionic fabric here as well. And this will be useful for, for Binny's mods as well. So yeah, we need things like we need a lot of the uh, the items from Binny's mods. I think the intricated circuit board is pretty useful for loads of stuff. Isolator, polymerizer, inoculator, and sequencer. Well, they're all items we're going to need. Um, one of the one of the items we do need though is the DNA dye, um, which is glowstone and purple dye. Purple is from blue and red dye. Um, so we're going to need to work on the Gendistry dyed bees. Um, but I don't want to work on them quite yet. Uh, I want to get the I want to get the area to be bigger first. So I will need to work on that. So let's think about that then. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna for now I'm just gonna put these two in here. Because the thing about these two, right, is that I want to be doing imprinting and, and sampling in completely different chunks because that's going to take up a huge amount of resources when you when you actually uh, it does it basically takes up a lot more resources all, all I'm doing here is just putting the same bee in one this one bee in with with its direct copy with its direct drone of pure bread bee and that's the re that's the only reason why um, because I've worked with bees quite a lot I know this for a fact that's the only reason why this is even running properly at all if these were all um, sampled and mutated bees, it wouldn't be running properly. Um, but yeah. Uh, but like I say, we are also in this point where, um, yeah. I mean, I could put I could put the fertility on this stuff, but it's not really worth it. We do need the. Uh, hmm. Okay. So we need thirty raw jelly. This is going to give us the diamonds. Um, Beelizer, that is that that. So the climate control module is going to require a lot of bronze. We do have the tin for this, and we do have everything else. So we will be able to get that. How many do we actually need? Two. So we're going to need to get a decent amount of copper. Um, so that will have to go for a while. We could even make a second copper. Uh, I don't know. Molten cone. Oh, yeah. So like, and also I made one of the other things I mentioned was that I can't actually do that until I get the simmering comb. Uh, yeah, and you can't do that without the hell emulation upgrade, which is from the climate control section. Uh, and the DNA dye I can't get until I get the um, coloured honey. So that is probably a good 
a good option as well. So that's one option. This section I probably should have to do a bit more. But like I said, I can't do that until I get the copper nuggets. Uh, the magical section. Oh yeah, I wanted to read this actually. Getting a botanic drone is very easy. Get a rooted drone, simply drop in a mana pool. Every uh, drone drop. In. Hmm. All right. I guess I can do that. If that's. I mean, to be honest, yeah. I mean, hmm. I want to start. I want to do that stuff though outside these chunks. Definitely outside these chunks. So I'm gonna. So I will have to do some building. I feel. Uh, and we're gonna do it with dirt. So yeah. Really, it's not night time yet. Come on, shut up. It's night time. Okay. So yeah. So that's what we're gonna do then. Um, gonna get some. I'll keep the copper going because uh, it's important. I keep the copper going. Uh, and the and the, and the other thing I can do also is to keep the. Um, I'm gonna put one more apiary down just to get the imperials here. Um, but like I say, we're getting pretty close to the limit of what I want to do with it. I may even stop some of these because um, I really want to keep stuff all in different chunks. And it will also be important to do that when. Um, all right. So yeah, did I uh, do this one yet? Hmm. What did I do with? No, I took the majestic out. I wanted to mix the majestic with the noble, didn't I? Where was my imperial then? I think I've got an imperial. I thought I just made it. Where is the Imperial? Yeah, it is Majestic and Noble to make the Imperial. I'm sure I just did it there. Uh, hmm. I've got the Majestic going there. Oh no, I put the Majestic in there, didn't I? Because I still didn't want to do it quite yet. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's why there's one majestic less than I remember there being in here. Okay. So we mix the majestic and noble, we'll get the imperial, and then from the imperial, uh, we'll get the jelly that we need. Yeah, right. That is exactly correct, isn't it? Then we can go on to some of the. Oh, yeah, if we get the lapis, we can actually get the diamond bee from there as well. So yeah, we'll definitely get the jelly from there. The jelly is only available from there as well, um, and that's why that's why obviously in uh, vanilla sort of forestry that's how it works. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, hmm. so let me think again then. Uh, so that I guess I don't need to do anything at this stage. Um, I'm going to want to get more pollen clusters because one thing will make slime balls. Um, for another, it will make scented palinate, hiding capsule, scented gear. A lot of stuff is going to require uh, the aromatic lamp as well. Uh, and it requires different things as well. Honey. Let's see what we can get for honey. So yeah, honey will actually be produced by these bees. Hmm. Could potentially make a start on them, but I don't want to. Uh, now there was a quest about clay, I believe, in resources, wasn't there? So what was this saying? I'm going to need 128 clay. Uh, all right. So. That's so what we've got so far. We've got the magic wax, which we've got from the mundane clams. I can make a magic frame. Hmm. I how useful a magic frame will be. Make candles, interesting.
yeah, I mean, I feel that I'm going to put all my clay in there, actually. Um, I don't think there's going to be a quest where we're going to be asked to have that. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, this is really the only hive I want to pay a huge amount of attention to. Now, the unweary is going well. Loads and loads of production now. Uh, I'm tempted to actually um, increase the production of Rocky as well. Got a lot of plum clusters, that's good. But, you know, it would always be good to have uh, a range of these bees. I don't know why that one, it seems to. It must be the way I've connected it. That's why they keep on falling out. Um, but yeah, we've got we've got we've got noble industrious going. Um, hmm, I'm just trying to remember why I didn't want to do imperial. I know it's because of this, but still, I might not even need to use this really. Hmm. It is noble and majestic. So when we look at that. I've got one more majestic. I've got several noble. I've got two. I guess I, I guess in total I'm going to have two majestic princesses and three noble princesses because there's one in here. Um, so I'm going to want to use a noble princess and a majestic drone. Um, and then that will be the last one that I do in this particular section. And then once I get the majestic drone, I'll mix it up and it can go in this hive over here. So that's good. Um, yep, that is good. So, yeah. Oops. I don't know why I've got the carrots here. I could do the seed analyzer as well. Um, but yeah, what I want to do, I think, is just have a few layers of dirt all around this area and then just light it all up. Uh, I think that would be okay. Yeah. So these are going to supply power to the mana pool, so I'm going to need an area for the mana pool. Yeah, I mean, I really have not built this base anywhere near big enough. Um, and obviously, with that quest earlier on where you get all the dirt, it makes more sense to do such a thing. So no, no Majestics yet there. Um, I'm probably going to want to cook up a little more wood. I don't want to use that coal at the moment because I haven't really got a supply of coal. Um, so I'll just cook up some wood. And do I have any sticks? Yes, I do. Okay, so that will probably be enough torches for now. Um, one other thing I could do is get rid of the torches and put in, do the glowstone block thing. But I don't really have enough glowstone to do that. I mean, in the carpenter's blocks thing. So I will do that as well at some point. Um, so we'll just chisel these torches to be like so. And yeah, I want to keep the uh, watering can on the hot bar. So we're going to need... Uh, so here's the thing, right? I can put the bees near the Britannia area because they're not going to... I don't think they're going to really interfere with each other. Um, I always forget you can just right click on this stuff. That's really kind of obvious there. Uh, But yeah, all right. So we'll we'll do quickly do the mutation with regards to this one. Should have no, no, still not done. Okay. Um. So we've got no. I'm going to take more stacks than that. Actually, we've got so much dirt here that it doesn't really matter. Uh, we've only got double compressed there though, so we'll just take one, I guess. Um. So that should give us a load more. Okay, so I'm going to want to. Mm, I do worry about falling off the edge, really. So I've got so much good stuff. But I'm just going to have to. I think I think I'm just going to have to risk it. Uh, 
I don't know though. I'm kind of thinking against risking at this point. So I think I don't think I will now think about it. Uh, I've probably used up all my wood there, haven't I? It doesn't matter because I've got planks. Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna keep it really safe because to be honest I'm gonna to need to do a lot of work out here and I'd prefer to be a bit more comfortable um, without anything on me really. Uh, so we'll put a sec uh couple of chests here. I'm trying to space out all the chests you see. Um, so I just want the dirt in here. Uh, I will have to take the wand as well. So I just want to dump this stuff in here just for now. Um, just take a piece of bread, I think I might need it at this point. And yeah, so what I'll, what I'll basically do is just make sure that some of these ones are taking over. Um, not all of them. Uh, I need clay at the moment, so that one will be good to have taking over. I've got the production on it. Um, print commons are always useful to have, because uh, it'll be the same with cultivated as well, actually. Funnily enough, I don't actually have any cultivated going. Uh, I don't really have that many cultivated drones either. So that will actually be something that I'm going to want to change. Um, because I've got loads of... Uh, yeah. I don't know. We don't have to do them all at the same time. The ones I've got going, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, let's just put the Majestic. Oh wow, the Majestic. Really? Such a high... That must be Fertility 4 on the Majestic. It comes from 2, a Noble. What was Noble Fertility? That's Industrious over there. This one's Noble. Noble Fertility isn't that high. I wonder why Majestic is so high. Interesting. Well, it is high anyway. That's still good though. Um, so we established we had basically had one. We then we've got uh, an extra noble princess. Um, uh, so we don't want to. So we want to just basically take the majestic drone. And oh yeah, let's just do this because I, I just I must have just put it in here. So we wanted to do that. I'll just set the imperials and then we'll and then we'll head on and do the. Uh, and do this uh, section. Oh yeah, one more labware. And I'm going to need the. Um, I haven't actually got enough mutagen in it. I'll put another one in. You see, I mean, the thing is, right, you could obviously do this a lot quicker. I may, I may even, after I do this more pack once, I may even just do it again. Um, but I'm not too worried about, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do here. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm happy with what i got on me at the moment. So, I'm just going to chisel these, because I don't want them like this. I want to use... Dirt layers. What is crumbling dirt actually? I don't quite like that one. Let's use that. Oh, I didn't actually fill in this corner. Oh well, doesn't matter now, I guess. So what's the best way to do this? I guess if I do a layer all the way around and I can just um, tile it. And so that's what I'll do. Mm. 
Hmm, I could just do another layer of uh, bricks, maybe. Yeah, that'll do. So we'll do the crumbling dirt again. On this one. I might do another layer of bricks now, I think about it. I'm not sure I'll actually be able to go back here. I might be able to, we'll see. Oh shit, I would have fallen off there if I hadn't been holding shift. Should be able to keep going back. Yep, I do have enough room around here. So it's getting a bit bigger. I'm going to want to go off a little bit over to a different area there. Not too far away, but far enough away that um, if I want to turn the amount of chunks that I'm loading down, it will uh, it will start to have a, a decent effect on the performance. Um, I will build a path away. I'll do a thing like um, you know, sort of turning. Yeah, I'll do like I know what I'll do. Basically, what I'm thinking is I'll just do a path off here. And then a path off there. Basically, looking at looking at sort of like if you're going, for instance, you know how you, when you do like a maze, it's always like turn. You, people always say like, oh yeah, you must always turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. That's one way of doing a maze. Um, what I'll do is a similar sort of thing. I'll just do. I'll do. Imagine that we're walking around in this sort of clockwise direction around this area, and I'll be like, right, go off that way, and then go off that way, and then in that corner we go off that way. In this corner, we go off that way. So I keep it so it's all very consistent, and we're going off in like a different sort of direction. It'll look quite cool, I think. Um, so yeah, how far do we get here? Uh, so I'm probably going to do this a couple. Yeah, I don't want to just do one layer on the outside. I feel it would be better if I have more than one layer here, uh, just to make it a bit bigger. Uh, it's a bit awkward this bit. I may even get rid of this. Uh... All right, so I want to do one more layer around here. All right, is this done yet? Um... It will be. All right, so we've got one more. Um... Yeah, and gradually I'm going to start moving the um, the hives further away because um, obviously you don't really want them there like that. Uh, Imperial is going to be royal jelly. Uh... So we've actually pretty got enough on this for now. Uh, I think I, I think I actually exhausted. Uh, did I use up all the uh, upgrades? I'm not sure I did. You know, uh, where did I put them? You see, the, the amount of chests, the chests are a little, little bit disorganized. They're not, mo they're not massively disorganized at this point, but it could get disorganized if I'm not careful. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly where I put them, so I'm just going to grab them from here. Uh, I'm going to put them in here. Put those in there. And we'll swap out the uh, lifespan ones. I'm not sure what the lifespan is. Uh, to be honest, though, the Imperial has got a very poor life. I'm going to not do that, actually, just because I know that the Industrials have got an absolutely shockingly bad lifespan. Uh, long lifespan. Um, and we'll see what the Imperial can do. It's giving me a potion effect of regeneration, the Imperial. Uh, and we're getting some dripping comb and some royal jelly as well. So the next thing that I want to do is to focus on uh... So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to say we're going to build a Britannia area here. I'm going to build a Britannia area with all the bees as well. Um, yeah, it makes much more sense. I don't know why I keep doing it. I can just right click on it. That's what I should be doing. <laughs> but I'm not. Um, yep. So we're going to need a bit more in the way of. Oh, we've got some wheat as well. I didn't put in there. Okay. So. Um, hmm. I wonder why it's putting those afterwards. So yeah. 
want to keep up keep up with the production of clay and of copper of course they're a priority and you see the advantage of this on the song being a bit slow is that we're not really wasting any uh, we're not wasting too much it is a bit annoying having the imperial here I'm going to want to be moving them all right so I've got some spawning areas now right in the corners um, so I'm going to want to start uh, removing them okay so we're going to go back and so we've still got eight triple controversed here um, I'm going to want a few more layers of dirt around this area um, I think I might use the other type of dirt now I think about it uh, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know it's a bit of a strange thing to do but oh well Because um, honestly, this crumbling dirt is all right, but I wanted to use a different. Mm. What is this one? Looks like a lot cleaner. This one, yeah, it is. I wanted a cleaner version actually. So that can signify the edge there. Yeah, and then because obviously the path is probably not going to be made out of dirt, is it? So let me just sleep before we get any mob spawns. Hmm. See, obviously, it's not very useful with the builder's wand <laughs> to do this, but it's still a little bit better, I think. I'll replace all the internal area as well, perhaps. All right. I mean, we might get a mob spawn, but well, it wouldn't be great to be honest, because I've got no weapons. But <laughs> this area is pretty. I'm, I don't know. Honestly, having a tree here is not such a bad idea. But yeah, we're going to want to grab those torches again and start uh, torching it up. And what do I do with the torches now? Hmm. I feel like I just put everything in here. I need to look carefully because obviously, yeah, because I've changed them to these things, they don't look as what you might expect. This area is kind of pointless. Uh, this area of dirt, I'll probably get rid of it at some point, but not quite yet. All right, so I'm going to want three off here, and then we're going to start building the Britannia area off in another direction. So, yeah. Yeah, I want. The, I just want the platform to be a little more spacious than this. I think another three, another couple of layers around here will make it that. I think one and three is nice, isn't it? So we'll make this all the way down here. Yeah, and obviously for the the other the two layers that are coming up next, I won't need to do this. It's interesting when you get to a corner, you go there, and then you're going to go left, then you're going to go back, then you're going to go left, and then you're going to go a bit further there. But yeah, like I say, I haven't got that much on me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to come back in the next episode, and I might be a little bit further ahead, I might just do a little bit in the, uh, in the interim. Okay, thanks for watching.